Hey guys, it's Trace Gardino here, and uh, me, Cody, and David, we chose, for our FET simulation, we chose the moving man, and uh, here is a, uh, here's what it looked like on FET simulations um, on the website, and uh, we started by setting the man at zero meters, at, that was his position, uh, the velocity was two meters per second, and we started the acceleration, we kept that at zero so that the velocity wouldn't change as he moved and it's obviously started at zero seconds so uh... from that we created a hand generated graph and we set our x and y values here here's our table uh... we had the different x values and the y values that came from that uh... our mathematical model was a first degree linear function and uh... here here's what it looks like it was y equals two x plus zero uh, so the y-intercept started here and it, you can see it raises up here um, our x and y things were time by, by seconds and position by meter and uh, then also we had the uh, computer generated graph and here's our table our x, x values of time and our y values of uh, position and um, we noticed the only difference in each of our graphs were that uh, the computer generated graph actually made it a little bit longer and not as uh, vertical as ours did but that's just because the way they graphed it on theirs uh, it's still the same still the same function still everything the same so uh, after we found both of those we decided to uh, use our real, sim real life situation and uh, put it in case of the uh, Usain Bolt beating the world record for the 100 meter dash. Every single one of the men in this lineup has run 100 meters in less than 10 seconds. Bolt, Gay, Powell. So uh, from there we decided that, uh, that that is the world record for the fastest time to ever run a 100 meter dash and um, we went over to our calculator and pretty easy math we just divided 100 meters which is the distance it traveled and it was by uh, 9.58 seconds and we found that he traveled at 10.2 meters per second and that was the velocity so that is kind of in this that's kind of a different situation more of a real life situation than the FET simulation but it kinda is very similar and uh... we like this simulation because it was very uh... easy to work with and uh... we really enjoyed doing it and uh... yeah